In the wide open spaces of the Eastern Front, warfare had been much more fluid. In August 1914, Tsar Nicholas II and his generals planned to send the Russian First Army across the border of East Prussia in the north, advancing along the railway line towards the capital Königsberg and drawing the German defenders towards it. Four days later, the Second Army would move into the heavily wooded area near Tannenberg in the south. It would then strike north to capture Königsberg and cut off the main German army. The Russians surprised the Germans by how quickly they were able to mobilize. And the appearance of hard riding Cossack cavalry struck terror into the local Prussian population. The First Army crossed the East Prussian border within two weeks of the outbreak of war. It had 150,000 men and alone outnumbered all the German forces in East Prussia. The opposing armies clashed indecisively near the town of Gumbinin, whereupon the German commander, Max von Prittwitz, fell back in panic, begging for permission to evacuate East Prussia, and the Russian general, Pavel Rennenkampf, advanced a few miles and then stopped. Unfortunately, he hated Alexander Samsonov, the commander of Second Army, and had no intention of doing anything to support his advance. The German high command had now called 67-year-old Paul von Hindenburg out of retirement to replace von Prittwitz, with the highly able Erich Ludendorff as his chief of staff. They spotted the opportunity which the excellent German railway system now gave them to use their much smaller army to beat each of the Russians in turn. One army corps was urgently sent by rail round to the Russians' left flank. This went unnoticed by the enemy, which was unaware that it faced any serious opposition. Most of the remaining two corps were then ordered to march southwest as fast as they could to take up a position on the right of the advancing Russian Second Army. Once again, all evidence of a major enemy move was ignored by Second Army, while the remaining German division spread out as a covering force to harass the First Army once Rennenkampf decided to get moving again. The Germans proved that a little, very mobile artillery and cavalry could imitate a much larger force. In the south, the Germans watched as the Russian Second Army lost cohesion amid the forests and lakes. They then went in for the kill. Thrusting forward through the town of Niedenburg, the corps which had moved secretly by train sliced through the Russian line of advance, cutting off much of Second Army. Then the other corps, which had moved southwest, completed the encirclement. Confused and terrified by this sudden and unexpected assault, the Russians broke and fled. General Samsonov went into the woods alone and shot himself, while more than 300,000 of his men were killed or wounded and 90,000 taken prisoner. It was one of the most complete defeats in military history.